Hey my friends, it's me, Julie, and I'm back to finish this video, part two here. It is the next day. So it turns out that huge disruption was Zeus doing his job. Uh, the FedEx man, he must have had some packages shift or something in the truck, and he needed to readjust, and he was in the driveway a long, long time. So that made my dogs crazy. <laughs> so they were doing their job protecting the house, Anyway, I have a couple things I want to go over with you. First of all, um, I am going to ship Mondays and Fridays, only Mondays and Fridays, just so you have some idea of scheduling for when you order, when you'll get things, okay? Mondays and Fridays for shipping. And then I finally did look up some of this stuff that I promised I would get back to you on. This says uh, Meja, M-E-J-I-A, Tax Co., I believe. Um, and it is sterling and any of my Spanish speaking friends, um, definitely pronounce my production <laughs> pronunciation. It's M E J I A. So, um, I'm going off my high school Spanish here. So anyway, it's Texco. We'll do this brooch for, oh, I didn't, I didn't see this. Look at that. <laughs> That's neat. Look at the little engineering. They made a little bend so it would still work. Very cool. <laughs> $12 for that guys. $12. And then, um, I, this is still a mystery guys. Not sure about that. I might take it to a jeweler just to get an opinion. You know, I don't know. Nobody said anything in the comments. If you have any ideas, um, the KJL earrings came out gorgeously. It was just yuck on them. So these will be $20, $20 on the KJL. And then I looked up the perkies Perky is um, a line in, okay, hold on. Sorry, I gotta look at my cheat sheet. Oh, by Sperry's. Perky's by Sperry's, okay? And we can do these for $3. They're screwbacks, gold tone, okay? And let's see what else we have. Oh, we have this one. Still a stumper also. So, it's a Coro ring. You guys saw it. Um, earlier, I think today, if I remember correctly. Um, so I found one online, same ring by Coro, just different colors in here. There was a blue, um, and they had listed for $180. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it, not very many of them are made. I'm not sure. So, um, if anybody's interested in this, make me an offer. Send me an email, make me an offer. Remember, um, the steps to buying something are right in the description. Um, it starts with checking the sold list, which is the top comment to make sure your item hasn't been sold. And then after that, you email me, let me know what items you're looking for with a timestamp in the description or a screenshot works too. And um, your name and address for shipping and whether or not you want to pay with, from a Square invoice or a PayPal invoice. Square invoices are credit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay. PayPal is PayPal Pay. And I'll send you the invoice and then you pay the invoice. There'll be a spot to click and pay. Okay, I think we got all our housekeeping done. <laughs> so let's move on. Um, okay, we got this guy. Kind of cool, an enamel bronzy color, size like eight and th mm, I would say it's a nine actually, guys. It is a nine. Really cool. Uh, just three dollars on that one. Three dollars. And again, I apologize for the bags, but they're a necessary evil today because I've got to keep the sizes on them this way right now. So, you guys. <laughs> Um, I've been telling you all about that vintage lot that's coming that I'm so excited about. Uh, this is a size, oh, it's worn off the bag. Let's check it. Uh, seven and three quarter. And we can do this one for $3. $3. Um, so I'm going to have it this weekend. I'm super excited. And I just tried to count how many pieces, which was a little hard, honestly, because there was a lot of going back and forth between me and the seller. Um, but I think there's about 1,800 pieces in this grouping, and I already bought a first set from her. So there is going to be some incredible stuff. 
and I did get, oh, pretty little solitaire. This one is a size nine and a half. We can do that one for $3. I probably should have made that a little more, but that's okay. Bargains for you guys. Anyway, in that lot of many, many items, there are some rhinestone bracelets. Actually, I think they might be semi-precious gemstone bracelets. This is really cool. It's a vintage ring, you guys. It's really cool looking. Um, it is a size 7, and she is vintage. And I will do this for, um, let's go $6 on this one. Um, anyway, there's some beautiful sterling gemstone bracelets. So some people have expressed a want for my 500 subscriber giveaway to be um, another ring. And some people have asked for a bracelet. So what I'm thinking is I'll pick a really nice sterling ring and I'll pick one of those gemstone sterling bracelets and we'll put them all out, both out, excuse me, and the winner can pick what they want. Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool. Okay, this is a two finger ring. It is a size eight and a nine and a quarter, okay? And we will do $4 on this one, $4. Oh boy, would it be a jewelry video if I didn't bump the camera? <laughs> this came out of my jewelry case because I found it in a jewelry jar and it was like a little worn, a little misfitty, see the copper? So if anybody's interested, this will go into craft. It will just be a dollar. Um, it's a, like a six and a quarter. How did I put this on? I can't wear that size. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so just a dollar in craft, guys. Okay, this one is the cool eyes and mustache dude. I think he's so fun. Mm -hmm. Hello. Would you like to be friends? I don't know why he has an accent, but he does. Hello, buy some jewelry from a jewelry. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of room because it's a bypass, but it is sitting at about a seven and a quarter. I'll do this one for three, three dollars. Okay, so yeah, anyway, giveaway, you get to pick. I think that'll be fun. And then there'll be something for everybody. Oh, this is cool. Look at this bypass ring. Is it attached? It is attached, so it's not a real bypass. Um, this is made by a company called Lucky You, okay, and it's a size 7, and I'll do this one for $5, $5, okay, next, uh, let's see, um, this guy is really neat, guys, it's a size 7, there's no markings, but look what it does, if you fold it over, you get the red stone and if you fold it over this way you get like the white flower stone white rhinestone stone I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> but let's check the stone let's see if it's anything important let's say oh well, let's put this so you guys can see it okay and I will be getting it a little bit off camera It looks like it's probably glass, guys. I'll see if I can hit one of these white stones. I'm sure it's the same. It could definitely use a clean glass also. So maybe cubic zirconia because I have heard that cubic zirconia tests as glass. Um, there is a little bit of like verdigris starting right there. Um, tiny bit. Let me put on the um, lens so you can see. But it is the coolest ring, don't you think? Um, do you see it right there? Barely, but it's there. So I want you to know, okay, size seven. Let's put the red out, rock in the red. Size seven, and I will do this for, is that stone there? Yes, it's there, it's just kind of sunken. And I will do this one for $5, $5. Okay, I have a skull ring. It's an eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. And it's a little cute skull with a bow. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, look at the teeth. They're big rhinestones. That's great. And it looks like all the rhinestones are there. I don't see any missing. 
Awesome. So let's do this one for four dollars. Four dollars. And that one was an eight and a quarter, guys. Everything we have left. Oh no, there's more in there. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking we were down to the end. We still have to test this too. Can't forget that. Oh my goodness, I can't get this one open. Okay, well, let's look at the size. It's a seven. Size seven. Okay, so it looks like a ring that you could have engraved, but nobody's done that at this point. It's not like an alumini, aluminum mini. <laughs> it's not lightweight. That's what I'm trying to say. Size seven. Let's do four bucks. Four bucks. Okay. Next one is a four and a half. Ooh, it's pretty. Uh, here we go. Look at that, isn't that cute? Should we test it? Let's look. Let's see what we got. Center stone. Glass, so probably a cubic zirconia in there, guys. It's really pretty. It's a four and a half, so nice and little guy. I wasn't sure if I told you the size or not. Really pretty. Um, I'll do that one for $5 also. Okay, we have another wood inlay, which I am just attracted to. I think it is Mother of Pearl inlay in wood. Isn't that cool? I think it's neat. There is some scratching. It might be natural. It might be the natural pitting in the shell. Mm, nope, there's somewhere. Do you see that right there, guys? It's like the shine has come off the Mother of Pearl. This is a size seven and three quarter, and I'll just do it for two. And it is wood. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, a size, I don't know. Oh, I did these little paper tags before. <laughs> seven and a quarter. It's really pretty, a little chunker. Seven and a quarter, it doesn't like have any spinners or anything. I will do that for $4 four dollars okay next ring Ooh, it's a starfish but I believe we're supposed to call them sea stars now because they're actually not fish correct me if I'm wrong six and three quarter it's like a gunmetal color good condition with black rhinestones that's really cute uh, six and three quarter and we'll do um, let's just do four. Four dollars for you guys. Okay, we have a really cool ring coming up. I think there's two that are similar to this, and they just are really neat. Yeah, we have two in a row that have a cool look to them. The first one is a size eight. Are you ready? Isn't that cool? Now, I don't want to make any assumptions about what all these stones are but if I had to guess I would say these are probably some turquoise chips in resin they look to be and I'm not sure maybe a red jasper but like I said I'm not sure about any of that so it would just be guessing and this is a size 8 it's very beautiful I'm going to do I'm gonna do 10 on this one guys I think it's worth it $10 slight scratching and wear on the band okay and then I have a similar similar style to that one where my guessing would be similar. Um, it would be, I would think this is like turquoise chips and resin and maybe some coral. That would be my guess on this one. This one's in really good condition. Okay. Um, this is a size seven, so it's not gonna fit on me, but you can get an idea. It's really pretty, isn't it? Um, I would really like this. Can I take a screenshot, you guys, while I'm filming? Let's try. I did it. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> the things I'm learning. <laughs> let's do, um, let's, I'll do 10 on this one also. It's beautiful. Aren't those cool? I really, really like them. I don't think I'm going to get it back in this bag, though, without taking way too much time. All right, I'm grabbing a couple that aren't in bags because I'm getting tired of the bags. I bet you are. Check this one out, guys. That's cool. What? That's not cold. So I don't think it's anything, but we'll throw it on. Oh, I was wrong, guys. This is onyx. This is an onyx ring. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is magnetic, so it's not precious metal. Um, when I said that's onyx, anything I ever have that I've thought could be onyx has always read about right there. 
um, or a tiny bit higher. So I always assume it's onyx. I guess I should say I'm not positive, um, just to be safe. So this is six and three quarter, and I'll do this one for seven, seven dollars. And then we have a yin and yang ring. That's cute. It looks like some turquoise chips and coral chips in there. Let's see what size that is. It is an uh, seven and three quarter, I'd say. And I will do this one for five dollars. Five dollars. We're getting down to the end of the rings, guys. We are getting there. This is another one by that company, Lucky You. It looks like a feather that is wrapped around. Is that cute? Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Seven and a half. Um, and I will do that one for four dollars. Four dollars. Have you guys heard of Lucky You? I I don't think that I have, besides obviously I did for that. I just didn't realize. Oh, look at this. Da -da. Oh yeah, now that's a statement piece, huh? It's a seven and a quarter gorgeousness. Look at all the rhinestones. And they look to all be there, guys. They should be if they're in this box, but you know, things happen. Okay, gorgeousness. I'm going to do this one for $5. It's a beautiful ring. Oh, wait, is that where? <laughs> it's a beautiful ring. Okay, there's some wear on the back, just to be aware of the wear, okay? Not much. <laughs> okay, next. Ooh, I'm excited to test, test this stone, guys. Okay, this is sterling. Sterling ring. Um, It's a size 6, and check that out. Wow, I'm wondering if those are aquamarines. Let's see. Topaz, blue topaz. So pretty, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So it is sterling. Um, it is a size six and I will do it for, I'll keep it at the $14 mark, 14. Wow, that's nice guys. This one is a band and it's a size 13 and a half and it is a spinner. Can you guys see that middle spinning? And it has like a, a boat or a flower. I think that's like a tulip. What do you guys think? And a line and another tulip. And it's a 13 and a half. And I will do the spinner ring for $5. Okay, we need another pile. This might be our last little pile, guys. We are getting there. We are getting there. We went through a whole plastic shoebox size bin of rings. Holy moly. Okay. All right. We got this little guy. Very cute. I don't think he's sterling, but I'm going to put the magnet on it just in case. I'll look it. Every time I say that and then I'm like, I'll just put the magnet on it just in case. And it doesn't stick to it. All right, we'll play with that one. We'll test it. Then we got this beauty, and we'll magnet her, too, just in case. Okay, she's magnetic. Okay. She's pretty, though. Let's see if that stone comes up as anything. No. So I would say it's acrylic. It is a size. Uh, eight, almost an eight and a half, guys. And I will do $5 on that one. Okay, we got this guy. A will you marry me ring. <laughs> it's a size five. Five dollars. Oh, this one's falling out of its bag. Yes. <laughs> size eight and a quarter. Oh, that's cool. Look at these side pieces where they kind of stick out a little farther. They're the baguette style. That's really neat looking. I like that. Let's test this guy. I'm just down below, guys, where I can see. So you guys just watch the gem tester. That's the center stone. Oh, let down. Falling off the baguette. Okay. All just acrylic, I guess. They're not coming up as anything. Um, size eight and a quarter, five dollars. Let me show you for another second. I feel like I didn't show you long enough. Okay. 
got a set of stackers. They are a six and a half set of three stackers that are actually joined by a pin, okay? So they are stackers, but they stay together, okay? Uh, size, um, size six and a half, I already told you that price. Let's do $4 on those, $4. Okay, this one is a six and a quarter, and I think I know what ring this is, and it is so cute. We'll wait till you guys see. If anybody is an elephant lover, check it out. Look at silver tone ring, gold tone elephant with some filigree, a little bit of wear on the back. Not too bad. Do you see it right there? Okay, this is a six and a quarter, and I'll do it for five dollars. Five dollars. I have a ring over here that is like screaming spring at me. Like it's an Easter egg decorated bow ring. <laughs> Are you ready? It's a size five. Doesn't it remind you of an Easter egg colors or something or spring or it's really cute. These are two different colors. They just look similar um, in the camera. It's like peachy and ivory and not really wear on that guy. Okay, size five, we'll do $5. $5 on the size five. Ouch, it was stuck, stuck on my finger. Okay, this one, I don't know why, but I think it's fantastic. Okay, I was seeing if it's, oh, it is broken. Okay, it doesn't affect wearing of it, but it is broken, so it will affect the price. Look at that. <laughs> It's plastic. There's some scratching. I just think it's cool. It's broken. Oh, poor baby. Let's do two. Sitting at a six and a half, guys. Size six and a half. We'll just do two dollars. We have a little J ring. J for Julie. This was in my jewelry case, but I never wore it. And look, guys, it's not magnetic. Hmm. Does it say anything in there? Let's look. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to see. Uh, we'll test it for the heck of it. Let's, and we'll see. Um, my mom one day said, hey, I found a J ring. You should put it in your, in your jewelry case. I did and I didn't wear it. So, okay. This one's pretty cool. It's a two finger ring. Also, it's a size six and a size seven. It is a gunmetal color and it is a sword and you would be really BA. You know what BA stands for? B-A-D-A-S-S. -S. Bad word. Wearing this. <laughs> um, and I will do that one for $4, $4 on the sword. Okay. We got a stretchy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this ring is to die for. Hold on. I want to put it on so you get like the full effect. Okay. Hold on. It's going on. It's going on. Oh my gosh. Look how cute he is. That's not broken, right? Uh oh, you're not broken. Are you? No, that's the end of the twig. He's a little asymmetrical on his twig. It is a stretchy and it is awesome. I'm gonna do $5 on him because he's that cool. <laughs> he deserves $5. Okay, we don't need a bag for him, he's adjustable. So I'm not holding you guys up. I got a glass, is it glass? Yep, it's cool. I got a glass ring for you. So if it's glass, then this should read glass too, right? No. Oh, it moves a little. <laughs> I was just curious what was gonna happen. Okay, glass ring sitting at a 10 and a half, $3, $3. This one's neat. This one's got a little mixed metal going on for it. It's a size seven, got silver tone, gold tone, and some cool little, um, little crystals or uh, rhinestones in there. Sitting at a size seven, I said, um, I will do this one for $4, $4. Okay, we're getting there. So guys, I got more stuff delivered. My filming tables came today, because right now, if I'm honest, um, I'm filming in my guest room, no big deal, but I have this little tiny table that I use here, and then over here is my guest bed that I use for a table. <laughs> and over here are a couple end tables. So I got three six foot tables that I can make into a upside down U and I'm so excited. Okay, there's a lot of scratching on this one, guys. Um, it is a size seven and a half. I'll just do $2 on that one, $2. 
So I'm so excited. So excited to set everything up. This is a pair of rings. It's a twofer. You get a twofer. They're a size seven and a quarter, both of them. And you get a twofer, a stacking. Uh, let's do four. Four dollars on the twofer. So really, that's what, guys? Four divided by two, two. Two dollars a ring. <laughs> okay. We have three rings after this, and then we got to do a little testing. And then we are good to go. Okay, I got to focus here. Oh, a little faux pearl and a little rhinestone. They're really pretty. Eight and a half. These were really classy tags, weren't they, guys? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You use what you have, right? <laughs> It's gold tone. This is a nice ring. Um, let's do, I'm going to do $6 on this one. It's got some nice weight. It's a nice ring. I think she's worth it. Okay, we've got a sterling band. It is 925. It's been through the ringer a little bit. Could use a little polish. I'm wondering if maybe it had a verme on it. Could have. Can kind of see your solder line. Yeah, she's you know, she's seen better days. It's a size seven. I will do this one for eight. Size seven, eight dollars. Maybe that's one I should try to clean myself and see if I can get it shiny. If no one buys it, I'll do that. Okay, this one's really cool for all you people that enjoy like um, fantasy type stories and things. It is sterling. It is a size five. And it is, oh my goodness, wrong way, Julie. It is a dragon. See his arms up, there's his head, there's a wing, and this is his body and his tail. Isn't he fantastic? <laughs> He's a size five. Uh, he is sterling. That's what the bag says. Let's just give her a check. Oh yeah, it says 925 in there, and it is not magnetic. And everything here I tested a couple years ago. Guys, I think I'm going to put him at the $18 mark. I think he's worth it. He's fantastic. And if you love dragon rings and you'd like dragon rings, um, dragons at a lower price point, I do have some coming um, that aren't sterling that are absolutely amazing. <laughs> I think they're so cute. So, okay, guys, last ring. It is sterling. It's kind of like a, you know, a band, obviously with footprints and I don't know if maybe they're supposed to be bear prints or no there's five toes maybe baby prints oh maybe it's made after the maybe it's to help you remember the poem um footprints um it's a religious poem could be I'm gonna put this one at the ten dollar mark it is a size I don't know let's look it's a size nine I'm gonna say nine and a half just to be safe Size nine and a half, you guys. Okay, let's turn off my gem tester. I always want to say gem in the holograms. Did you guys watch the? Any of you watch that when you were younger? If you're around my age, it was a cartoon. Gem in the holograms. Okay, I'm reaching for my silver test stuff. Okay, let's put this where you can see it. We have three rings to test, and here we go. Scratchy, scratchy. There's that one. Scratchy, scratchy. There's that one. And scratch. Okay, before I do it, how many do you guys think are silver? Put it in the comments. Just one ring, two rings, Three rings, zero rings. I'll give you two seconds. Put it in the comments. Go guess. One ring, two ring, three rings, zero rings. Testing. I dragged that in the uh, scratch a little bit. Not a good plan. Don't do that. Okay. Flower is sterling. The middle guy is nothing. Not a precious metal. And the last one, I'm going to say is nothing. It's holding a little bit, but it's weird. Okay, so let's look at this flower. Sterling, dirty sterling, crusty patinaed sterling. Kristen D said once she likes her sterling crusty. 
So here you go, Kristen. This is crusty. <laughs> Seven and a half. I'll do that one for ten dollars. I'm gonna bag that with a sterling tag so I remember. Uh, this one is that little J cutie pie. It is a size yeah, five and three quarters. We'll just do two dollars on the little J. Silver tone. And the last one is this cool one with like little studs. What size are you? This is a seven and a half or so. And I will do three on that one. Three dollars. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all your purchases. Oh my goodness. I definitely needed to set the um, shipping days Monday and Friday because of my boring job. I need to make sure I stay on a little bit of a schedule. And probably I'm going to try to figure out answering comments. Like I just answer comments in the morning while I'm having my tea, something like that. Um, and some of you have been asking in the comments um, how to buy things or to buy things. And that's totally fine. I understand that not everybody knows how to do it. But um, definitely go through email. You'll get the same answer from me. And it's like, if you could email me, that would be great. Tell me what you're looking for. Name and address, all that good stuff. It's all in the description, step by step by step by step. Okay, here's my question, guys. We did the midi ring question, okay? Were they thumbs up or thumbs down? And nobody answered me, actually. <laughs> so let's do the pinky ring and the thumb ring. Yes or no? Yes on the pinky ring? No on a pinky ring. Yes on a thumb ring, no on a thumb ring. I'm so curious what you guys think about that. Okay, remember you can be anything you want in this world, so please choose to be kind. Talk to you later. Vintage tomorrow.